I used 100 runes of ascendance in the name of science, fun, and greed. Rune of ascendance via the forge panel will transform an item into a unique or set item of the same type. In this video, we're using rings and crossing our fingers for the one ring that still eludes our collection, the Red Ring of Atlaria. There are also a few rings that would be upgrades for some of my favorite builds if they had legendary potential, and yes, you can get legendary potential on an item from Rune of Ascendance. It's just more rare as the results will show. So are Runes of Ascendance a worthwhile tactic to acquire items you don't have, or potentially even acquire items for more legendary potential? We'll find out. There are currently 18 unique rings and 3 set rings in the game, and it's possible to get a Font of the Erased, which will have Weaver's Will, but the amount will vary. However, the Ribbons of Blood and Ashes of Mortality are boss drops and cannot be acquired through this method. Although 100 attempts is a relatively small sample size in the grand scheme of things, it's a very large amount of runes to have saved up for one individual. The final results were 15 different types of rings, with the most frequent being Sunwreath. Three of these 13 Sunwreaths had legendary potential. I threw all six of the Furriverse Persistence down the hole. A rather poorly rolled Heirloom of the Last Nomad, but I kept it anyways because the Stun and Freeze Cleanse is extremely nice on builds that are vulnerable to it. Two Silver Fronds had legendary potential, and believe it or not, I do have a build that uses these. It's a Cold Minion Spriggan Form build, which I haven't shown as a video yet due to its high build cost, but it's a lot of fun. Eight Quicksilver Rings, two of which had legendary potential, added to the heap of metal at the bottom of the hole. They aren't terrible, but being a lower level ring, I already had several of these since I've been playing since beta. To be fully transparent, I plan to do cycles from here forward, so these runes don't have a tremendous amount of value to me long term. In general, I'd recommend that you actually use these on shields, at least until you acquire the Shield of Bastion. Fauna the Erased ranged from 13 to 21 Weaver's Will, and time will tell if any of these are even worthwhile. I have more than several well-rolled erased items, including one I use on this very character, a damage over time poison warlock. However, to venture a guess, I've probably used about 10% of them overall at any point, and the rest become magnificent beacons of light when I leave them on the ground after they roll one or more horrible affixes. Four of the 23 arboreal circuits, Ring of the Third Eyes, and Hollow Fingers had a single legendary potential. Regardless, 100% of them wound up down the hole. 16 of the rings belong to the Invoker set. I do have a few builds that use a single set piece, but not for the set bonuses they provide. Typically it's for the item itself, and none of my builds use either of these rings. If you're following along closely, that means all 39 of the last rings were junk, simply based on which item they were, and had nothing to do with the range of rolls on the affixes or legendary potential they may have had. Tongue of the Aberrant is one of the rings I am interested in, but only one out of the seven had legendary potential. However, I'm hoping to upgrade this for some more damage, and you'll see the results of that in my next video when I update this Poison Warlock build. A low rolled Osheron, but since this is only my second one ever, and the percent damage effect from Shock should stack, at least this is a keeper. Cycle of Putrescence and Lyoth Signet, but only one out of the 11 had any legendary potential. Generally poor rolls, and since there's already better burning a hole in my stash, you know what I did. That means no red ring. Not that I expected one. This video is more about sharing some visual evidence that these runes might help you get some items you're looking for. However, the odds of getting a well-rolled version with legendary potential is very slim. In total, I kept 16 rings, and half of these had Weaver's Will, meaning that I may even throw some more out as they begin to roll affixes. It's also likely that a lot of the legendary potential may get wasted or just not be as good as some of the other rolls as I run Temporal Sanctum. I'm likely to believe that there's probably only several rings I keep in the end. As always, Thanks for taking the time to watch, and have a great day.